Today's look is inspired by Megan Fox and it's for a special occasion. Starting off with clean moisturized skin, I'm going to apply a primer. Now a primer is used after your moisturizer and it's a totally optional step, but what it does is it helps your makeup to last longer on the skin. You can also try an eyelid primer, which once again will help your eyeshadows to last longer. Allow that to settle on the skin and then you can move on to your foundation. Try a foundation with a slightly fuller coverage and with a long lasting formula. I'm going to apply a little bit with my fingertips and then taking my brush I'm going to blend that out but you can actually apply your foundation with your fingertips if you prefer. Just don't forget to get right up by the hairline and then also a little bit down the neck. Moving on to concealer, I would suggest using a fuller coverage concealer around the eye area and on any blemishes that you might have as well. Next we're going to move on to brows. Brows make a huge difference and Megan is famous for her beautiful brows. They're quite full and spaced very close together. Brows frame the face so take your time in getting them just right for you. Add a touch of bronzer to the outer edge of the face. Try doing the three stroke rule if you're a bit confused which goes forehead to cheek and then jaw and this is the easiest way to define your face. Finish the cheeks with some blush. I've chosen this pink colour, but it's up to yourself. Pick a colour that complements your skin tone. Megan's blush tends to work upwards across your cheekbones, so work from the apple up towards the top of the ear. Finally, the eyes. I'm going to start by taking this double-ended brush and using the flat side of the brush and this peach nude eyeshadow, I'm going to work this across my eyelid. You can also work this a little bit underneath the eyes as well. We're keeping it very simple today. Now flipping the brush around and using the fluffier side of the brush, I'm going to use this brown eyeshadow and we're going to create a kind of a cat eye effect on the outer corner. So you're going to drag the eyeshadow outwards and creating a sort of V shape on the outer part and make sure to really, really blend it. Finally, taking another flat brush and a black eyeshadow, we're going to start on the outer third of the lower lash line. Apply a little bit of color and then you can sweep the rest of it right into that inner corner and then sweep it upwards, creating a cat eye effect on that outer corner. Then taking the brush, we're going to place it right down on the top of the lash line, above, and joining it into that line that we created from below. It's very simple to do, even a beginner can do it with a little bit of practice. Now for extra cat eye effect, apply a white pencil eyeshadow to that inner corner, curl your eyelashes and then add some mascara and I'm dragging the mascara outwards. It's bringing up my lashes from that outer corner and really winging them upwards. This is a very chic and sexy look. If you want your makeup to stay in place, try adding a fixing spray. This will hold it in place. It's like hairspray for your face. For the lips, I'm going to slightly line outside of my natural lip shape to give them a slightly fuller effect. Finish off with a touch of lip gloss on that inner part of the lips. And we're almost done. I'm just going to part my hair onto one side and brush it behind one ear and then it's time to put the dress on. This dress was inspired by a dress worn by Megan Fox. I love the detail at the top and then it just goes very simply into this baby pink colour and it also has a train which is just so cute. I'll put a link in the description box where you can pick up this dress and I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Bye bye!